Hey guys, I'm LB, and last episode I cheated by looking up a walkthrough, and we found out how to get in here. But, uh, I stopped the walkthrough as soon as I found out how to get in here. And pretty much did everything myself. I've still solved every puzzle in this game without help from anybody. Except, I didn't know how to get into this area without help from a walkthrough. And that's technically not really a puzzle, you just had to be observant. So, yeah. Okay, where are the hidden guys here? Okay, then. Yeah, okay. Okay, that way I can see all of them, right? Yeah, yeah, so if I go up here, I can see all of them. How do I want to do that? Like that, okay. Oops, come on. So, hang on, let me see that again. If I go through here, I should be able to see all of them, right? Yep, okay, that is all of them, that's just four. Whoa, what's going on here? Okay, why is it stretched, though? Is that all of them? Oh, there's one down here as well. Let's see... Where is a safe route? Okay, so if I take this route, this will let me see all of them. Can I just zigzag to victory? What happens if I try to zigzag to victory? Okay. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Okay, where are they in this one? Okay, so there is one down here. This is the same as before, it looks like, except that... Yeah, it's the same as before, but now with strategic breaks. Okay, then. Hmm... Where is that other guy here? There. I wanna see these real quick. Okay. Is there any right next to the start? Doesn't look like it, okay. So this'll let me see all of them. Wait a minute, how am I supposed to get that? Without causing a catastrophe. Like that, okay. <laughs> These weren't too difficult, it's just that they were in- they- they were invisible. Anyway. Let's continue looking around. Uh... 
know there's still paths I haven't taken. Around here somewhere. This is a weird spot. I guess once we do this puzzle, this will just let us call the elevator whenever we want. Okay, it doesn't look like we can get to the rest of the island from here just yet. Okay, let's see if we can go down. Yeah, okay, that takes us down. Awesome. Now this is turned on. Wait, what are these for? Okay, so it just lets me call it up and down. I see. That's where we came from. I don't really see how we go anywhere else in this area, unless we just have to solve all the puzzles here before something unlocks. Okay, let's work on this one. We can definitely just deal with that one like that, but I don't think that'd be very helpful. <coughs> These guys can rotate, and since they're symmetrical, that m basically just means that they can flip. Yeah, because the rotation is the same as a flip for these guys. Rotate it 180 degrees, that's the same as flipping it. For- for these two. This one, not so much. No, there's a strategic break here, so like we could Oh wait, no, that wouldn't even work anyway. Never mind, okay. Mmm, the fact that this guy's in the center makes me sad, because we can't reach him up to these guys. Cause it would go like this. We could do this, but that's about the extent of what we could do. Where would we put... the broken pieces? Oh man, how are we gonna deal with this guy? First let me figure out how I can even deal with these in the first place, and then I can try and actually solve the puzzle all at once. I'm gonna figure out the individual ones. 
I think we might be able to connect this guy... up here. Yeah... And then... what do I want to do after that? Oh wait, I could do, like, that, and that connects them. Okay. I don't know why I didn't see that before. In fact... I think that would work for these guys. No, why doesn't that make them happy? Oh, duh, it's because of this strategic break. Wait, what if instead I did that? No, because of the way this is. This guy can be like this, like this, or like that. Or... these three spaces, because he has to have- one of his tiles actually has to end up in here. Because this is where he originates from. That's how the Tetris pieces work. He cannot do this formation unless another piece pushes him out that way. How am I- wh what is this one piece useful to me for? Yeah, they don't want me to just do that and connect it with the one piece. No, that's five. That strategic break sure makes this a lot more difficult. This guy's only... too tall... Or three. Two or three. And we need to get up to the one here. And in order for it to combine with the one properly, we need to make it the long ways that connects to the one. What if we could use this guy to fill in the gap here? I think we have to use the one, though. Cause then what are we gonna do about this guy? There's no way we can trap this guy without another piece to join him with. We could rotate them so that their- their- their third pieces overlap, but... 
that's not gonna help, because then they would overlap, and that wouldn't be helpful. Would that even make it happy? I'm gonna try it and see if that makes it complain. Yeah, 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 that makes it complain. Okay, that's not gonna work. So, the L would go here. Once the L is there... Wait, that makes it happy. How? How did that make it happy? I'm actually trying to figure out how that made it happy. <laughs> oh. Oh, the L goes in the top left. Oh, the L goes in the top left, the... Uh, the broken one goes on the bottom right, and the one fills in the hole. Oh, I always for I have a bad habit of forgetting that they can move around and exchange places. Because when you when you group when you just have them on their own, they they have to have one of their tiles in the tile that they occupy. But when you group them, they can switch places freely, and they it just doesn't care. Hmm. But how are we gonna deal with the other guy? Let me think about this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We need two more spaces somewhere. Where could we put those spaces in? Where do we want the L to go, first of all? The L could go on the right, it could go on the bottom, or it could go on the left. Yeah. Wait, no, the- oh yeah, 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 the, the L can go on the bottom, yeah, okay. Yeah, the L can go on all these places. 
So let's say we have the L on the bottom. That lets... the one fill in the space on the right. And then those guys... Oh, but there's that strategic break there. That strategic break means I cannot use that particular solution, because... That would... that would, yeah, that would require the six spaces over on the left there. So what if we put the L on the right? That means the one fills in the space on the bottom. Same thing, same thing. So if we put the L on the left... Where do we want the one to fill in the space at? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah! The L goes here, the- the broken ones match each other here, and then the one just fills in the space here. Awesome! I like that, that was cool. Well guys, in the next episode, we are going to tackle another color dungeon- bleh, color dungeon puzzle. Thanks for watching, and I will see you then.